Welcome to my new video. My name is Björn Friedrich and today I'm here to show you a very, very good and efficient version of the Kimura, Uma Plata, whatever you want to do from there, you can do it. It's a very, very good way of isolating the arm from the guard and not just isolating the arm, but also breaking the structure of your opponent you know, like I always do from the, from the bottom and also from top and um, then you can submit it. It's hard to explain so I show you right now. So, first of all, we start from close guard. So we're here, basically close guard, head control. Uh, let's turn, let's turn. Um, so here. So, I grab his head, pull him down on my chest. First things, I want to isolate the arm, so I go for a knee shield, and from the knee shield, I go to a butterfly hook. So I do one, two. So by, when I do this, basically, this is trapped, you know? From here, I open my hands, my left hand grabs his, his uh, backside of his neck, left arm goes in the inside of his biceps, and I put my knee on the inside. From here, I create distance, go over, and my right arm grabs my left leg. And I will show you that later on the other side. From here, you can go here. The arm is completely pinched. From here, I don't go for Uma or something. I go for underhook. Grab his tricep and create additional pressure on his arm. So when he, here, when he wants to pull his arm to his body, he can do this. It may, might be hard, but he can do it. But here, it's very hard. If he's trying it, very hard for him to do. From here, I push his head under my leg. I cross my legs. And I cross and pull backwards. From here, I could let go and do more plata, but basically I would lose control. So what I do is I grab his tricep, switch up to his wrist, pull his tricep to his shoulder line, slide in, finish. I showed you a similar technique last year, but with less detail and with less pressure. So this this technique is the updated version, the 2022 version of the move from last year. So one more time from this side and then I go to the other side. Key point is, even if it's here for example, key point is to isolate the arm. So I go one, pull up and here. When the arm is here, I go inside. If the arm slides inside, okay, I can take his back. No big deal, also a good option. But if not, I'm here. And now the key point is, Sliding, I come over, my knee is inside, and I go over his neck, like I do with a rubber gun. But there's no, there's no flexibility needed from here. I grab my own shin, and that locks him completely. Immediately, I switch up to the tricep and create pressure. Now, I put his head under my legs, grab and pull backward. I could pull him towards myself, whatever. I grab his bicep, tricep, pull it up, go here. This alone will tap him. If not, finish. Other side. So now you see the important footwork from the other side. So I'm here, I'm here, butterfly. So from here, I bring my knee inside and I come over and I grab. You see my my heel touches my, sh my knee. That means his arm is on the outside and he could not get in, which is good for me. So controlling him here, under hook. And now you see, because this is connected, I have already occupied this space. This arm just pushed down and go over. Now I stretch and hook, pull, I could pull, I could keep him there, but if I pull him, it's even better for me. Now I grab triceps, biceps area, and I push his arm this way. And now I go inside. One more time. The key point to get this, and I show you right now, is when you're here, when I'm in this position, I need to do this. If I'm here, for example, and if I'm lazy and I push his head, he can pull his arm inside, make it tight. 
So then, it's hard for me to hook anything. And you can run into me maybe and pass. So this is a, a crucial point to see when I'm here, I'm here and I come over and this touches. You see, this touches. So he cannot put his arm in. Here, I try to stay as tight as I can. Here. Now I straighten him out, hook it. Turn, I could turn this way. I could pull this way. I grab his tricep, I push this up. I go, I could even go for here. Or I could even go from here, here, whatever. That's stuff that you will find on my uh, German neck accumulation DVD, by the way. So, last time, and um, here, head control, knee shield, one butterfly hook, inside. Now, grab his neck, inside of his bicep, slide through, tight, you know, don't give him this gap here. From here you can grab. From here, this one just pushes down. This comes over. Inside control. I forgot, you should do that earlier, but I showed you. So here, control. You can start right here. Or you can pull them outwards. And you could start right here. For the finish. So this is my <coughs> updated version with the underhook control, which is very effective. Um, from the Kimura Oblata entry from uh, close guard or from butterfly guard, you can, you can switch around with that. Very, very efficient because you control the arm and you control the neck. So um, give it a try if you like it. Give me a thumb up, subscribe my channel, check out my videos at bjjfanatics.com. There's some great stuff there, even about this neck control stuff, like I said before. So um, yeah, check out my videos and uh, see you next week.